Hey y'all and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot and to Card or Cards of the Day. I do hope this finds you well and as always this is a general reading for the collective. So you will see it when and if you are meant to. <coughs> so let's get into our reading this morning and see what Spirit has for the collective for today. That was pretty quick. Four of Pentacles. <coughs> so this could be, <coughs> excuse me, this morning. My voice keeps going in and out. Um, the Four of Pentacles can be about holding something too close to us, like holding on to feelings or holding on to a situation where we need to let it go. Um, this can be hoarding. This can be holding on to items or, or just something that isn't serving you. You know, you're collecting too much of one thing and you need to let it go. Um, so, but it's it's kind of like you're, you're holding on to it because you... I kind of feel like you feel like if you let it go, it may, you may not feel that way again. Or you may not have that same experience again. But you can't hold on to things that don't serve you anymore because the new things cannot come in. Because there's new things there for you. But they can't find their way in because you will not allow the other things to go. So you see how he's standing on the pinnacles? It's like... I'm, I'm keeping you here. I'm forcing you to stay. So don't force anything or any situation or any feelings or anyone. Don't force anybody or anything to be with you or near you or, or don't hold on to anything that doesn't serve you or doesn't need to be there. Um, because it takes up space for things that are good. So Four of Pentacles is, is letting go and realizing that you need to make room for other things <clears throat> because the five of pentacles is next and a lot of times the five of, five of pentacles is risk so with the four of pentacles you don't you're afraid to let go because when you let go now you're moving into un unknown territory and you don't know what to expect so if you keep holding on to this you know what to expect with this there's no surprises so you just keep holding on um, but you're going to have to let go so you that Five of Pentacles can come in and you can take that risk. And be starting into a new situation that you're not quite sure of. But that's what life's about. You have, you have to let the new in. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why don't we have the Four of Pentacles here? The Knight of Wands. So... The Knight of Wands is like somebody that kind of heads into a situation or or heads into anything <clears throat> pretty quickly. They're like they got one thing on their mind. They head into the situation. Sometimes they can they don't think about what they're heading into or how fast they're heading into it. They don't get all the information sometimes. So sometimes the Knight of Wands can be a little on the reckless side. Can be like over over the top is what I'm what I'm getting with the with the Knight of Wands. So what I feel like is don't enter a situation like that. Don't um, go in it full throttle like that. Let go of what doesn't serve you and slowly let new things come to you. Don't force it. Don't just jump in don't jump into a situation right after you get out of one. That's what I'm really feeling. I'm like, once you let go of this, be mindful and don't jump right back into that situation again. Don't put your get yourself back into the same situation that put you in the Four of Pentacles. So be mindful. Use your instincts. And don't, don't get in your mindset, this is better than nothing, and get back into the same situation you was in before. Because sometimes the Knight of Wands can. They can just jump into a situation without getting everything and it makes it chaotic and it makes everything turn upside down and so don't do that don't jump right back into a situation you just got out of just because you think there's nothing else coming for you be patient and give it time and there will be something else come your way the two of wands so this is like Crossroads. So you, you are now you are now going to be at a crossroads because you have to let something go, you have to slow down, 
and you have to not just jump into any relationship or any situation that will put you right back where you were. So you are at a crossroads, but don't go back, don't slide back. Don't go back into where you were because then you will be in the same situation you were before. So make a good decision because you are at a crossroads and you are going to have to make a decision. You can't sit and hold on to things that don't serve you because you deserve to be happy and you deserve for happiness to come in and you have to let go. So you are at a crossroads and you do, you do need to make a decision on which direction you're going to go, but just do not jump back into a situation that puts you back where you were. Let's see what the unicorns say. There. This card has come up a lot, so this this is definitely for someone. I keep getting this card. Awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. So please look for signs and guidance. Please look um, within yourself. Please look for look at your intuition and make sure you're listening. Um, and don't go don't go back down the same road you went before. Um, be aware of everything around you. Be aware of of the things that that don't serve you, so that you can allow them to go and 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 pick up on the things that do serve you. Let's see what spirit animal you have. Spirit. There we go. The Orca Whale Adventure. Dare to do things differently, sing your wild song, manifest your travel dreams, attempt the great journey with confidence, be loyal, friends and family are your treasures, be brave, you are more powerful than you know. So there you go. Make sure that you do manifest what you want. Make sure you use your intuition, make sure you look forward. Toby's making a visit. Make sure that you don't lose your sense of adventure. Don't let this take a, the sense of adventure away from you. Um, like I said before, don't do things that will put you back into the situation you were in. Um, and you got support around you, friends and family that will help you let go and move on and, and head for different things. Um, don't be scared of the journey. There's a new journey ahead. I know that you're holding on to things that are are um, comforting. These are comfort things, things that you are comfortable in, a situation you're comfortable around because you know what's going to happen and you know what to expect. So do like the Oracle Well, go on an adventure. Don't get out of your comfort zone, is what I'm trying to say. Get out of your comfort zone and let the new in. Get out of your comfort zone and let the new in. So thank you for watching and subscribing and commenting. I do appreciate you. I appreciate all my subscribers. And thank you to my new subscribers that have come aboard. I do appreciate it. I do hope y'all have a great day. And have a blessed one. And love and light. And blessed be.